Hello traders, John at StockBookie.com. Today we're looking at the SPY, the IWM, the Qs, the DIA, the IYT, and the USO. We look at the daily, weekly, monthly timeframes. We follow technical analysis here at StockBookie.com. And of course we use a couple other things or indicators, but that's our primary uh, form of uh, making better trades. So daily, SPY, same stuff. Bullish, gets under, jobs report. Bullish, gets under, jobs report. Even a bad one is good because at this point, the free money policy is going to go on forever. And that's what these these uh, big money banks want, free money. The time will come. She's going to have to raise rates. The bubble is going to be huge. And we're going to go down just like the rest of the times, 2000, 2007. And I'll show you that in a little bit. So same crap. We're above the 200 MA. Everyone's happy, blah, blah, blah. Three day. What a coincidence. Three day weekend. We end up green. What does that do to people? It gets them in a better mindset. They go out. We need consumer spending, remember. Consumer spending is a big part of the puzzle. So as long as everyone's happy and get their statements, woo, let's go out and buy bigger houses and more cars and, and boats now and whatever else. Which, which, what was that like in 2000 and 2007? That sounds like the same shit that's happening. But hey, that's just me talking to myself. Weekly. Umbrella top until we get above the 220 area with some conviction volume instead of this light crap. We aren't going anywhere. We're going to chop around, chop around until they find a reason to dump in your face. And remember, staircase up and it's going to be the elevator down. And let me show you an example and I'm going to keep showing it, showing this to you. Dollar general. Holy crap. But it's got to stop. It's down 19% from the highs. Blah, blah, blah. Look at this. Look at that's a weekly. Look at this monthly chart. This is nuts. In one month, we wiped out five months of gains. That's what's going to happen on the SPY. I'm telling you, be prepared. Don't believe what the media is telling you because it's always a bunch of crap. And half the people on there, they don't even know what the hell they're talking about. <clears throat> so anyways, I'm getting riled up here, guys. It's Friday, three-day weekend, baby. Got a lot of charts to look at. I want to find some more setups for you guys. And uh, hopefully we can bang out some more money. We covered a lot of trades today, made some money, or this week on swing trades, that is. We had a couple good scalps. We're holding some over the weekend. Not a big deal. And uh, we'll take it. Uh, we'll take those on Tuesday and see what happens. But anyways, weekly pattern, trying to get above, no volume, just chopping around, classic distribution. We talked about the monthly. We tried to close above this big green candle, never did. Now we're starting to, we're starting to move up a little bit today. We're up 98 cents, still not at the all-time highs. Got the two two eighteen eighty seven, almost got there, but just not, just couldn't do it. Nice little doji here, so that's a possible reversal. But we got to play it each day, watch the daily, weekly, and then we'll go from there. But I want to show you, which I haven't shown you guys this lately. This is the monthly chart, guys. This is this is where Bernanke should have, or Bernanke Greenspan should have raised the rates, but no, he let it go for another year and a half. Boom into here. They try to make a double top and run for the high again and collapse. Same thing here. Same crap that's going on. We came up, made a new high, collapse. And look at this. Staircase up, elevator down. And this time, oh my gosh. Look at this staircase. It, it's going to happen. And it's just a matter of time. Yeah, I, I'm bearish. I am. I don't care. When you're measuring these tops, look at this. Look at this. So from this time frame, you know, I'm just going to show you some, some stuff. All right. <clears throat> Here's the time frame from here to here, okay? So now you want to measure that because that's showing the top. So now look what happened. We made the top right here, symmetry. That's called symmetry. Made the top here, pulls back, comes back. Now we made a new high. Seem familiar? Pulls back, made a new high. Comes down, pulls back, made a new high, new temp. Got every, oh my gosh, Bernanke, look at YouTube. Punch up Bernanke 2007. He's on he's on Capitol Hill telling everybody, oh no, the housing prices are stable. We got everything under control. There's one little sector we're working on, but we're okay. Yeah. <laughs> Top boom. What are they saying the same crap here? Yelling, uh, waiting on data. It was first 6.5% unemployment, 5.5. Now we're at 4.9 and they're still like, well, we're still kind of waiting. No, you're still kind of buying time, honey. Because it, it's coming. And maybe you're buying time to get through the election so you get off that chair and you bring some other idiot in that's going to do the same thing for a little bit and then they're going to sell it in his face. But we're in the time frame that anything can happen. So just wanted to show you this bigger BS stuff that's going on. I mean, we, sh we should be maybe at double top. The economy's not that, that good. I mean, come on. Give me a break. 
And now, like I said, going into the weekend with a big rush, bad jobs report was good, good jobs report actually is kind of bad because then they're thinking, oh, no oh crap, she's going to raise the rates. And, the, and the, they want the free money policy forever. You know, that's it. Why, why, I, I want free money too. Why not? What the hell? Give me some free money. I'll put it into the markets and make it work. And another thing, these, these banks are getting all this money and they're just investing it into the financial markets. They are leveraged to the hill again. Leveraged. I think even worse than 2007 and 2001 combined. I, I was I was reading somewhere or something that, that they are leveraged to the hill. If this thing goes south, margin call galore, and that's gonna that's gonna exaggerate the move down. Ugh. But anyways, enough on the spy. I'm gonna crank through the IWM. Same crap. They actually did close it above the 123 area. Let's look at the weekly. But we did uh, did we close above that? Hold on. Let me get my tools out again. Got to go back. There's like a glitch in this thing or something. There we go. So I don't know. I'm going to have to measure that over the weekend. But it looks like right around 124.57. Whoa. A couple pennies underneath it. Man, I, I got I to gotta measure that this weekend. I just don't have. I just want to get through this. Uh, I want to see confirmation above this area next week. And then I might believe that we're, we're bullish. But still, lagging. This thing should be leading. Why isn't this thing leading the way up? They're slowly trying here. I'm giving them... Giving them the gold star for effort, but again, we should be at the highs and then some, and then the rest of the market should be following the IWM. The monthly, the monthly just started, so we're going to know more at the end of the month. We're looking for a close above the high of last month, which was, I don't even know what it was, right around 124.57, I believe. So we're a little bit under that high until it closes above it, then I still won't believe I'm, it's bullish because we're just going up on light volume. So I'm sorry, guys. I'm a bear, and that's it right now. But hey. Bounces like this, I was bullish. I didn't ride it all the way up, but I rode it for some, waited for an upside, then we shorted it again, rode it up. I'm a swing trader. I don't care which way we go. I just want to be on the right side of the trade, period. Uh, Qs, same thing. Uh, Qs were a little bit weaker than the rest of the market, which was interesting today. But again, they closed it above the 20 MA. That's their goal in life. But still, bull or bearish inside bar, micro, bullish macro pattern because this could possibly go up until we close above that 118.78 or 120 with confirmation and volume i don't believe it weekly weekly chopping around bullish pattern starting we got a couple dojis couple spinners but you know what until we get above this candle above 120 again don't believe it volume sucks don't believe the B, the bs and that now wall street you know they got that that article on and everyone's bullish holy cow it's crazy then this one, though, this one, the monthly, it did close above this candle, slightly bullish. Well, I want to see it close above this area or the 120 area at the end of the month to prove to me that this is a strong market, that it can go up. And like I said, even if it does, I still don't believe it. It's, it's, it's just in that time frame. I mean, look at the NASDAQ. We're just in that time frame. And then we're up into these double top areas from, from 2000. And they're trying. Here's your high pivot right around 120. That's your line in the sand. If it gets above that, then I'll maybe believe it, but I want to see conviction. Weekly, same crap. Monthly, same crap. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's Friday. Uh, Dow Jones didn't close above this candle. And I don't I don't really follow this one as people have been asking me about it. We're still below the 20 MA though, so it's still it's bullish but slightly bearish now. But I want to see, you know, the 50 MA held it up. I want to see it close and start going. I still think it's going to 175 or so. But just holding again, no volume. Can't, it, 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 you can't even make this crap up anymore. Chopping around, chopping around. Now we're down inside bar pattern, just like Tesla when it before it collapsed. Then the, the X, whatever X space blew up or whatever, and that exaggerated everything on Tesla. It was coming down regardless, but that little blow up and everything. Oh my gosh, the, the longs are like, what is going on? But actually, the longs are thinking, buy the dip again. <laughs> Let, let's just keep doing it. It's worked every other time. Until it doesn't, and then, it, and then it, you're back at 140 again, selling because you're getting your butt kicked. Uh, we had a little bit of a doji on the day, on the uh, monthly, chopping around now. It's the beginning of the month, so we're, we won't know too much until the end of the month on this one. But again, the Dow really doesn't mean anything to me. Uh, let's look at the IYT. IYT, again, we need to get above the 20 MA here. They are trying, let me tell you. I, mean, I don't think we're above the 8,000 level on the Dow Jones transports either. Until then, I don't believe this thing's going up. Go to the daily. Daily though, whoa, look at ooh, look at this. Wow, we have a little little, little tail here, just like up here. Wow. 
That's interesting. Did they close at 122? Wow, they closed at like a penny above this high. <laughs> I guess close enough for government work. But hey, watch this. If it retraces up into this area, put a short on, period. Look for the retrace on the daily topping. It's not a true topping tail, but I'll take it. This pattern here, actually starting to break up. Let's see it. I want to see it close above this inside bar, right around 145 to 85. And then I still won't be bullish, but you know what? We'll see if we recapture this area around 146. Then ultimately, if it gets to 150, you want to short this thing. If you're long, I would start selling or putting a tighter stop in. If you're bearish, you're looking to close below these MAs, and then it will start going. If this pattern fails, we will go down, period. If it doesn't, then like I said, up into here, then around the 150. But this thing's been trying and trying and trying. This is the weekly. This thing's been trying for two months, and it still hasn't gone anywhere. It's like the markets, basically. Monthly, we're right into the uh, 20 MA. Let's see, 143.19. No, nope, 19 cents under it, so it hasn't closed above it. But that's the monthly, so we'll see as it, as it continues. Still an inside bar bearish with a micro bullish pattern. Let's look at the USO. USO got a bounce today. We talked about the $10 area. We did cover half our short, came right into the 10 bucks. We filled this gap here. They bounced it up and actually closed it right above the gap. So honestly, we talked about this. Three bars down, a nice retrace. Let's let's uh, take that out. Let's put the fib. We're waiting for a retrace or let's put it here. Wait for a retrace. Oh, this would be great. If it retraces back up into these moving averages and then fills this gap right here at 10.73, you got to short it again. So what we'll do, we covered our shorts down here on the USO and the SCO, which we took long. If it bounces up, we're going to do it again. But, you know, again, you can't just, you got to see how it goes up into this area. But what I'm looking for, too, is down, sideways action for the next leg down. We have a gap down in here and double bottom down in this area around 9 bucks, 9.22 or something. Right in that area, weekly chart. <clears throat> weekly chart, we talked about this. Three bars up into this good resistance, shorted up here. We did, boom, we got the SCO long. And we took that one off the table already for a little over 10, and we took this one here. We did close on the weekly below this bar. That is weak, so now we're waiting for pattern sideways on the daily to see if we set up to go lower. Monthly chart, same thing. Get above this inside bar, I'll believe it's moving up. Until then, it's gonna chop around sideways. Down, sideways, bearish pattern. My marker on this, 646. I think that's $20 oil or some crap like that. But, I, you know, I'm just looking at the setup. I'm looking at what's going on here. And, uh, yeah, I mean, they got some longs in here. If this thing starts to flush, they're going to dump. They're going to have to. They got margin calls. They even get margin calls from this this point, And they're still trying to catch a bounce, and it's still going down. They have to keep oil low for the stimulus package for We the People. Wow, they're actually looking out for We the People this time. Woo! All right, guys. That's it for today with the charts. You know, after that jobs report, no volume still. I think it's just a matter of time. We're coming into uh, the month of September. I think it could get a little bit rocky here. If we don't start moving up on the SPY, it's going to eventually move down, of course. But it usually takes the path of least resistance, and it just cannot get through. It needs a big volume day to push through. Until we get that, I still, I'm, a still, I'm still a bear. Sorry. All right, guys. Thanks for watching my videos. God bless. Have a great weekend. See you on the charts.